Hello everyone and welcome to Alessia Plans. My name is Crystal Cedar and today I'm going to be de this Recollections binder cover so that I can use it for my classic size happy planner. So this is the Recollections binder cover. I want to say it was inside in Michael's from about 2015 through 2018. The original price on these were $35 and I bought mine for $9.97 plus I had some Michaels rewards so I believe the final price was about $7 and uh, it's a different quality I do have the happy planner binders they're a little bit more rounded out and they are um, much wider which is why I liked this one because it's about the right width for classic rings I don't use extender discs and sometimes the happy planner deluxe covers are a little too huge and I'll need all that so we're gonna take this beauty and we're gonna turn it into a happy planner cover so um, it is a little on the ashy side for vinyl I didn't even know the pleather could get ashy but there it is so I don't know if it's coming out and uh, please excuse the lighting I'm kind of new to the game so I'm still working on the lighting thing and um, when you open it up it's got um, three slit pockets and then one uh, secretary pocket and then it comes with dividers beautiful designs uh, foiled and kind of like marble marble vibes and they're just monthly so the front is a graphic and then the back is like um, important dates uh, appointments and birthdays so just a kind of a general notes page summary and then there's no pockets on this side and this is um, oh actually there's a little duh little pocket here little slip pocket here so that this is where you would be able to slide the cover for your happy planner so um, first thing I'm gonna oh so let's go over the supplies that you'll need to do this so uh, you'll need a pair of pliers a razor blade if needed a pair of scissors if needed a paper towel and Windex just in clay uh, just to degrease the the ashiness and a piece of cardboard uh, this is a light piece of cardboard um, that we're going to be cutting up into three pieces so this is how I've always uh, done my D ringings all right so put these to the side so first I'm going to cut this off and we're going to remove these I actually started off with a binder system when I started planning all the way in high school uh, 20 million years ago. I used an at-a-glance system and uh, the mechanism broke and so through the almost end of the school year I was like really upset because my pages were falling out and ever since then I've been traumatized from using any kind of binder system. Um, or rings system because of that. I don't like, I like customizable planners, but I don't want them breaking on me. So I'm just going to be kind of degreasing or whatever, de-ashing this cover. I believe it was because it was in storage for a long time or it was on on the, um, oh, I didn't even know there's a pen loop here, <laughs> sweet. Uh, on the shelf so long and it was on a bottom shelf in my Michaels and so everything was really dusty and they're just kind of stacked on each other so oops get it all nice and moisturized get it all and these slip pockets don't go in very oh actually yeah they don't go in very deep so it'll be perfect for putting in like I don't know journaling cards or stuff I don't like to put paper clips on these I'll usually put it on a ooh, before and after I'll usually put it on a card paper clips on a card cut that tag off later and comes with this lovely warning sticker 
because I live in California and companies always have to give this warning about any items that cause reproductive harm. Um, this is really easy to take off as well. I've never seen a de-ringing uh, video on these recollections binders, but yeah, see, no goo gone or anything like that, no scraping. Okay, so this last one should do it. And the reason why I'm using Windex is because um, it's a good degreaser, just in case, you know, that's what we're dealing with. Yeah, like you wouldn't be able to do this to a Happy Planner Deluxe cover. Uh, it's very pliable, it's really soft, but it gives me hope because if I ever want to make my own, I could kind of get an idea of how they did it. I don't know if I'd be able to sew that straight, but at least that's something. Okay, so we'll let that kind of dry off a little bit, and the inside is already dry and it looks great. Okay, so um, what this looks like is there's um, kind of like a little space here. You can see that in between the rings and the binder itself and then same with the top and I actually bought all three colors of this binder cover there was this black color color cover there was a cream pearl one kind of off-white and then a really pretty powder baby blue and those were the only three colors that I saw and I do ring all of them six so now you're going to take your cardboard piece or light cardboard piece and cut it up into three parts. And uh, I do this so that I don't scratch any of the vinyl during the process because I have seen a couple of videos where people have attacked it with some pliers and it just scratches this part scratches this and then it's game over uh, my experience with these recollection binders though is that it's not really that seriously uh, anchored in and you saw how soft and pliable the cover is a little bit it's easy relatively to de, de grommet it <laughs> whatever we're calling it so first thing I do is I try to lift it first without breaking anything not like I'm going to use this mechanism for anything because I don't like binders, but still, first I try to get under it. I was using um, needle nose, the longer nose pliers, but I didn't want them to break and you do need a little bit of weight in order to kind of torque it, I've, I've, no I've noticed, so. I'm just going to lift this up. And... You can see the rivet right there, that's kind of what is going to lift. So now that it's kind of up, I'm going to move this on this side just so that while I'm pulling on this, this doesn't scratch the vinyl. And I'm just going to try to like wiggle this off. Oh. Oh well, it's all good. Sometimes you have to take this part off of the rivet and then pull the rivet out. It just depends on the actual binder itself. And please be careful when you're doing this. You don't want to rush. So I think... I think what I'm going to do is maybe break this part off. Alright, so... There we go. The ideal situation would be... Um, to just kind of pull 
the rivet out without making too big of a hole so you don't have to worry about covering it up so crazy but I believe it's just like this really thin like cardboard that's holding the two rivets together so if you do it right not a lot of it comes out but this one this time kind of torqued okay so now I'm gonna spin it and I'm going to move my cardboard on this side and I will repeat the process I have um, pretty bad OCD, <laughs> so I don't care if it looks silly that I'm using all this cardboard to like de-ring this. If I rip my vinyl, that'll irritate me more and I have to see it every day. Oh no. So I know at this point, a lot of people would be really hella impatient and then just kind of rip it off, but I don't want to do that because they don't sell these anymore. And I'm trying to be a little bit more mindful about the things that I have so that they last longer and I'm not thinking so much of it being disposable. See right there. But that's okay because it's going to be covered by my pages. So mostly it's to watch out for this scratching any other parts. Let's try this. And a rush. Okay, I think this is going to be the same. Okay, so now at least that's lifted. Come in. I'm just doing it now because it's gotten to the point where I can twist it and then also too I don't want this thing scratching everything so so I don't know if you can see that so let's see I can zoom in a little bit oh there we go and that's it this is the discombobulated ring system and then it's a close-up of the whole size so this is um, oops. this is unique to recollections though. Like uh, I've seen, I've deranged a lot of other smaller um, binder covers, like Agenda Fifty Two and the mini size of this line. And it's not necessarily as easy as this was. The only reason why this was easy is because the cardboard's really thin, and. Um, there's no metal plate that I know of. I mean, there might be one, but it starts right here through here. And I like to keep it in there because it adds structure to the back. Uh, because once your rings are in, um, I like to keep it flat. I don't like a rounded look. So this will be easy to cover up. And I've only got one casualty right there. And I don't even know where the other one was. I think it disappeared. <laughs> it disappeared into the ashiness. <laughs> so then I'm just going to cover this up with a brand or like, um, I used a sticker last year on my other planner covers and it kept falling off every time I'd open and close it. So I made make something a little permanent, but there is a substantial kind of dip. And so um, probably put something like a cute little button, something that can change every season. So. There you have it, and then, let's see, I have a little notebook so I can kind of show you what it looks like. Or actually, this um, this is not the planner that I'm using, but it's one I have around, so this was the, um, I forget what this was called, but it's uh, the 2021 planner. And this is just for samples, it's not the one I'm using. So then you could just slip in your planner cover right there. For me personally, I don't like to use the planner covers uh, for this. I'd rather use um, one of these uh, guide sheets. I'm one of those people that bought like a lot of them when they came out because I thought they'd work a lot better than wax paper, but they don't. And I'd much rather 
work with the pliability oh what did i just do the pliability of the wax paper it's easy to take stickers on and off if i leave it there for maybe a couple of days i don't have to stress about it maybe coming off so i like to use these for that because i'm not going to be using it for my planning since it's already around you know use what you got and i find that it's just as effective to keep your planner in place and then um, that way you get to enjoy the pretty back cover because I'm not trying to hide this or maybe just use a cover that you know you don't like or an older cover so that's what it looks like with a happy planner inside of it again not the planner that I'm using but that looks cute so I hope you feel inspired to use what you have in your stash, especially if you've been hoarding these recollections binder covers like I have. Use what you've got because you might as well enjoy it now while you can or while you're feeling inspired to work with it. If you've liked this video and have received some inspirational ideas for your own planning, please reciprocate and hit the like button. Also, if you'd like to stay tuned, please hit subscribe because I will be posting new videos of how I'm going to be setting up my autumn planner uh, using this binder cover and also some new ideas of things to plan with. So please stay tuned and thank you so much again for viewing. I'm Crystal Cedar and thank you so much again for tuning in to Illustral Plans. Have a great day!